Hey guys, welcome back. I have started out my day getting the kids off to school. We were kind of waiting to see if Jason was actually going to go to work today or not. He did go to work. It's fine. He actually might take tomorrow off, which is awesome because he hasn't taken a Saturday off since like vacation time during the summer. So and that was only like one day. <laughs> but I did laundry. I think I did two loads of laundry and I was finishing up watching the Seahawks game even though all my friends at the bus stop gave away the score. I still watched the last like half of it. Fast forward, it went quick while I folded laundry. But then I realized that I needed to kind of get going and I have to go to Costco and Target and then I have to pick my kids up from, two of them up from school because they have a birthday party to go to like right after school. Otherwise, they would miss like the first half hour of it if they came home on the bus. So I was all anticipating that and I was making my grocery list and my to-do list and then I realized I don't have a car. took the car down to get the tires put on. I'm hoping that they're done in an hour, so I decided to come out and start working on the stain for the signs. I'm waiting to hear back from my sister on one of them. I don't know if she wants me to stain it or paint it. Oh, there she is. So I'm gonna answer that call real quick and then we're gonna get to staining. All right, so I got talking to my sister. <laughs> Didn't wanna like waste time. Not that talking to her is a waste of time, but I needed to like be proactive. So I stained half the signs in the time <laughs> that I was on the phone with her. And then I ran out of room and didn't have somewhere to put the camp that, I'm oh, sorry, there's sawdust on my camera <laughs> from yesterday. I didn't have room to put the phone down on the table where I was, not table, garbage can, where I was staining. And so I kind of had to hang up the call and then finish staining because I had the gloves on and the stain and all that kind of stuff. So let me show you, I'm worried about it starting to rain. So I think I'm gonna move the wood into the garage um, while it dries. It always makes my garage stinky and then it kind of feeds into the house, but I don't really have an option because I'm worried about it raining. But let me show you what I've got done so far. So here's the first sign here. I actually just got her song quote that she's gonna put on that one. This one here is a surprise. This stain and that one, the this stain is on the back side. I'm gonna chalkboard paint that one and this one black on the other side and then these guys down here most of these down here are stained and then they'll have white vinyl put on them except for one of them now oh this one over here this one is going to have the chalkboard paint on the other side as well and then a white vinyl or white chalk pen on those ones so i need to actually put some rubber gloves back on and move them all into the garage. I got a little hotter than I thought I was going to get out here. The sun kind of came out for a little while while I was working, which helps for them to dry, but I got a little hot. Not hot myself, but my face was getting hot and <laughs> sweaty, so let me put these gloves on. Ah, can't do it with the camera. Can't pull it on. And then I gotta move all these into the house and I really hope my car comes soon because I have to go to Costco and Target and we only have I think two hours before the kids out are out of school where I have to pick them up at the school. So this could become a problem if I can't get them to this birthday party today. Didn't really think that part through because they said the car would be done at noon. So this might be a problem. Let's, I'm gonna go and figure it out. All right, so I've been working I haven't been working. <laughs> I don't know why I would lie to you guys. I don't have to lie. I haven't been working. I've been watching uh, YouTube and Netflix. <laughs> it's only been an hour since I came inside, to be fair. But Firestone just called and our car, my car is done. And I have a friend who was out running errands. Hang on, let me put you down so that I can get my jacket on. All right. I'm still going casual today. 
I only wore this for a little while last night, so it totally counts to wear it again today, right? Lock the door. So my friend was out running errands already, and she said, if I'm not, you know, if I'm home when it's ready, then I will take you down to go and get your car. So she's on her way here. I'm gonna grab a power cord. I need the end. Do you guys ever have like problems keeping track of all your power cords? I think we have, um, oh, I'm trying to get the end into the, I think we have like four or five iPads now. And then we have three phones, three iPhones. And anyway, it's ridiculous to try and keep track of all the power cords and I'm like horrible light. Hang on. Okay, that's better. Um, I, what was I saying? Anyway, it's a struggle to keep track of power cords around here. For the most part, the girls keep one by their bed and then I keep one by my bed that Jason and I share at night. And then I keep one by my computer. But anyway, it can get kind of hard. I'm gonna go put this stuff by the front door. I'm trying to decide what's easier for her to pick me up at. Anyway, um, I actually need to go and see. Do you guys ever stockpile birthday presents for kids? <laughs> I do, at least I used to. And I have a stockpile of presents out here. Chelsea and Ashley have a birthday party. It's a dual birthday party for their friend, two of their friends, brother and sister. And so I need to get them a birthday present, but I'm thinking I don't have time to do Target and Costco before, oh, I need to get this out for my retreat, actually. And there goes the cooler. I need the cooler for the retreat, too. So, I guess I'm doing a multitasking. I have a retreat for church that I'm in charge of next week. So, oh gosh. And I, we're going to a church-owned lodge that we've been to before. Ugh. But, um, the beds suck, <laughs> like hardcore. They are awful. And every year I'm like, oh, I wish I had an air mattress to sleep on. This year I am not going to be uncomfortable. Okay. All right, so here's my stockpile of gifts. Let me see if I can find something in here. All right, so I've got like a watercolor thing. That's too old. So it's for a five-year-old and a three-year-old. Or a five and a four, maybe. So, let's see here. Ooh, this is good. That one's a good one for the little girl. Ooh, and I have, ooh, I have a couple other things. String art is probably too much. This is probably too much for her. Ooh, but this is perfect. Yes. Oh, gosh. I think I have two of them. So we have Belle. And then I have, that one dropped. No, I don't know who to do. Belle and... All right, so now I have to decide which one of these guys I do. I think I'm gonna do this one. This one is kind of cute. Maybe I should, I should do both of those for the girl. And I don't think I have boy toys in here any longer. This is all hats that I got. I need to actually donate that to like a Christmas drive this year. She's just too young for that one, I think. Hang on to that one. Maybe a puzzle. Would that be kind of fun? It's a floor puzzle. I think mom would kill me if I gave that one to her. So, it looks like we just need to get one boy toy. <laughs> that sounds awful. We need to get one toy for the boy. But the girl one is taken care of. This is why I do this. Sometimes I see stuff on clearance and I just stock up on it so that I have stuff like that last minute and I don't have time to go buy a present. You know, I've known about this party for like two weeks now. That's okay. All right, take this stuff out. It stinks in this garage from that stuff staining bad light. Hang on. 
All right, Jason wanted me to make sure you, I pointed out how fancy and nice our tires are. Look how much tread is on there. I'm making fun of him, of course, but they do look good. So now I've actually got a rush to Costco. Oh, this is so frustrating. I think I have barely enough time to go to Costco, get it home, and then rush back down to the school. But I need to call the school and tell them to not put my kids on the bus, which they hardly ever, ever do. So my Ashley will be like stoked. I don't know if you remember the beginning of the school year. She was obsessed with parent pickup last year at kindergarten. That girl. I was like, I am not wasting an hour of my time to come pick you up. So I gotta call the school really quick and then go to Costco. it started to rain like literally the guy said the second I was like leaving the store it started to rain so had to quickly get everything in the car I found that I don't know if you saw it the Toy Story blanket there we had a Paw Patrol one as well oh and I just thought that um ah, that would be a fun gift to give instead of a toy especially going into winter time. My girls love their character blankets and I'm not one to buy them for them. They get those from like their friends or Santa. And so I thought that would be kind of fun for him to get one. That's the birthday party. I don't know if I mentioned that. The birthday party that we're in a rush to go to right now is, that's what that present is for. I'm actually in a rush. I gotta go drop this off at home and then get to the kids at the school. Guys, I'm waiting for my kids. We're taking my kids, waiting in a life. If you see these at Costco, get them. I mean, I mean, it's like, it's a uh, golden grams covered in marshmallow, covered in chocolate. See this marshmallow in there? Yes. I love holiday snacks at Costco. They do it very well. You finally get parent pickup. What? I'm very excited because today's first parent pickup. Oh my gosh, she's been waiting for this since day one in kindergarten. Mom, Say go. thank you. What is it? Have thank a wonderful you So, are you guys excited to go to a birthday party? Yeah. Oh gosh, there's no enthusiasm now. They've been talking nonstop. Actually, I have a chance. Anyway, well, they were excited about it. But it'll be fun. You they're going to late, they're going to a kids bounce, right? Yeah. I it's like a what do you call it? Like a blow up bounce, bounce it's house. Basically, just like a bunch of bouncy houses. Yep. So, so we're gonna head out there. It's about 10, 15 minutes away. So and it starts in 10 minutes. So we're gonna go try and find traffic to get out there, and you guys should have a good time, huh? They're absolutely silent the second this came on. Anyway, it was cute. Your your teacher was cute. She knew that you wanted to do parent pickup so bad, didn't she? I really wanted to because the buses <laughs> just take forever. I know they take forever, but do you know how long I've been sitting there waiting for you guys? Like three hours. No, I've been waiting for like a half hour. 20 minutes, maybe? Well, that's because they don't let the kids actually get, when they see the car, like I saw- No, I waited for 20 minutes. No, I waited for 20 minutes before you even got out of school. So, well, yeah. and then I have to wait for all of the parents to pull forward. Well, yeah, like they won't let you, if you see, like what, once I got out there, I saw the car, but they don't let you go to it. And I'm like, so- I know, because it, it's a safety thing. They want to make sure that they see the parent and the kids aren't just wandering around. It's a safety thing. I'm fine with it. Anyway, I am really glad that I don't have to do parent pickup because I love the bus. <laughs> I love not having to worry about sitting there waiting for him. But I gotta fight traffic now, so I we're gonna put this down. You already tired? Oh my sit up, sit up, sit up. Sit up on your throne. Hey guys, 
eight o'clock. We've been home for two hours, well, hour and a half. Jason's home from work. Kids are getting fur ready for bed. I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna go up and get ready for bed. I'm not going to bed, I just wanna relax. Ashley, you wanna sleep? Ashley, you wanna come say goodnight? Ooh, it's all spooky blue lights. Anyway, we're tired. I'll get in here and I'll turn on the light. Spooky doo. Spooky, what are you reading? I'm uh, the doll papers? No, not the doll papers, the what doll people. Oh, the doll people. You see that? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. So yeah? Far. All right, Chelsea, why don't you say goodnight to everyone and end our video tonight? Okay. I'm like kind of matching back here too. <laughs> like, Did you have a good time at the party? Yeah, it was tiring. Yeah, there's a lot of kids. <laughs> they had kids running back and forth, up, down. I always make my kids shower after going to a kids' bounce or a playland, right? Oh, yeah. It's a germ fest. It's a sweat ball. Oh, yeah, there's like little babies there, and they're like drooling all over the place. Like, I know. You like the babies, though, don't you? Yeah, there's this one. They're, um, the kids' birthday party, they have this cute little baby, and like, it's so fun. Like, you He's blow in his face, and then he goes, ee! He's a cutie, huh? Yeah. yeah. He's such a cutie. I know. I wish we could have shown him, huh? Because yeah. he's so cute. He's, he's so cute. <laughs> All right. Say goodbye. Good to, that was Jason. Say goodnight. Good night. Good night. I know. He's a big baby. <laughs> He'll grow into it. Okay. Say goodnight. Good night.